you know, we have covered a lot of translation devices and technology on our site recently. Uh, as we keep saying, the world's reopening. So if you wanted to go out and travel, now is the time. But you know, if you don't have those language skills, picking up some additional stuff, you didn't make that a priority during the pandemic, uh, then it might be a little hard to go to the more exotic places that you've been desiring to, you know, go to. So with that in mind, we reached out to Waverly Labs and they actually sent us their brand new ambassador interpreters. Now this New York company, they created these things, so instead of going in your ears, like a lot of other, you know, people do, or like a device you hold in your hand, these items go on the ear, which makes it really nice if you need to basically kind of like share a hand over one or the other. It's more hygienic as opposed to going in your ear. Um, on top of that, with the use of the app, you do have the ability to use multiple different languages to you know, translate. And another really cool feature about these is that it can actually pick up language within like six feet around you. So you don't have to be like right on top of the person, which is very important during COVID. It's, I know COVID is you know, closing out, but it's still very important to make sure that we're safe. So with all that in mind, let's open up this box and see what's inside, what comes with the Ambassador Interpreter. So it's a very small box, very thin. Okay, first of all, I really like this mesh bag they got. It's, it's really nice and soft, but it's also kind of see-through. I think that will allow it to breathe. So like, for instance, if you do sweat a little bit on them, you're not gonna basically put them in a bag and then watch them get sealed up on there. Uh, it comes with a nice little guide, small guide to show you the buttons, what the uh, indicators of the lights mean. Um, so on this device, it shows there are three lights. The lights show you that it is 30%, 60%, or 90% charged when it's currently plugged in. Um, and apparently you can connect up to four of these devices to a single phone. They have a one-click button for volume up, one-click volume for on volume down, and you have a unit indicator on them for when you're connecting it to the devices. So let's pop them out. Okay, so they often gave me, they already gave me a little bit of a like a translator device from like Star Trek vibe to them. They just go right on here, like so, and then the actual piece goes on there. So that's actually, it's a little tight on the actual ear arm, uh, but for the most part, that's, feels solid, like it's not gonna fall off. And so another thing about this is, you have on here, a microphone, right? It's a little pinhole, microphone right there. That's gonna pick up the outside noises to be able to translate and then put it back into there. This item is uh, B1 and B2 for the unit numbers. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna come back. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, a guest come on to help me speak a different language. Uh, so you can actually see these in action. Uh, for the most part, they are pretty, that little clip right there. That's the press three times to turn on and off or click the top. Feature. That's nice. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, just see that a little bit more with an actual person, and then we will be right back. So my amazing sister Elizabeth is back yet again to help me with our translations. So um, you're my go-to Spanish speaker. You you spoke Spanish for how long again? Since we were little, and you used to as well. <laughs> So you're very, very um, knowledgeable. You're gonna be able to pick up this machine is making some mistakes. Right. And you know a little bit about like, you know, slang and stuff, so you can throw that in or try to give it some curveballs. Yeah. So we're gonna give this a try. So this is the device right here. Uh, it's really small and handy, and uh, unlike the other ones we've covered in the past, it doesn't go in the ear. It just goes on the ear. So you can just place this bad boy on your ear and give someone to someone else, and you set them up for communicating back and forth. And I'm, it's going to stop when I stop talking, and then she'll hear it in Spanish. So now if you want to be able to talk, normally you have to activate it, which actually means you click on it. So I'll go, Hi, my name is Eric. How are you doing today? And then if I talk, it will... Well, you, you have to tap yours when it's your turn. Okay. 
Hola, soy su hermana Elizabeth. Estoy muy feliz para estar aquí contigo. It's only, it's only record until it stops and then we'll start transitioning. So that's pretty good. Like it's, it's picking it up and kind of throwing it back out. No, but actually it's pretty good. And what I liked was that the person speaking, it was natural. It doesn't sound like a robot. It sounds like a real person speaking. So what it does is um, it's designed specifically to pick up and translate. So you don't have to keep pushing the button off and on because that can cause a little bit of problems. Mm -hmm. So just clicking it once, topping it, then when you stop. Now the device also has a natural pause setting. Uh, that can elongate it. So if you're going to be doing a longer kind of talk or conversation and you're the kind of person that naturally has long pauses, you'd want to activate that so that way it doesn't just start translating and stopping you off in the middle of it. But also it's, it's really fun, it's really easy, I'm picking up a lot of communicating and the really good thing about this is that you can pair up multiple of these. And so you can set oh, up wow. a lot of people in like one space, not like a ton, but like... What I like about it is as a teacher, when you get students that are newcomers, either that speak Mandarin or Spanish or any other language, sometimes you have a small group of like four or five students. So if you can link all of them together at the table and actually be able to communicate, it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's... I've never seen that with multiple. Now it does have a couple other fe uh, features. Uh, for instance, there is a lecture mode where it's designed specifically for you to talk for long periods of time. Oh, wow. And then they also have listen mode. So I will say about the listen feature is it does have to be set for within six feet of somebody. But So what do you think of this device? Is this something you would probably take with you? I would sign me up. I would get it because, you know, being able to work with all of your population, even for parent conferences, um, I'm very lucky to be able to talk to my parents in Spanish, but when I do have students that are um, Asian, that's where I would need help with Mandarin, Japanese, Vietnamese. So does it have all of those languages as well? So it has has a lot of different languages. Let me actually pull that up so I can show you. Um, so when you click on the ambassador, you can actually select the language they are. There's, of course, there's English, uh, Arabic, Chinese, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, Greek, Turkish, Polish, uh, you have like, the Hebrew languages, uh, and then on these other languages you, you can click on some of them, like the Portuguese, and you can select Brazilian Portuguese or Portugal Portuguese. Wow. So you can get those little details, those little and nuances. What I liked you said in Spanish as well, they had different Spanish dialects. Yeah, so we have like uh, Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Colombian, Costa Rican, Ecuador, El Salvador, Spain. United States Spanish, I guess it's a little bit different than slang most likely. It's very different. And then you have Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, Paraguay, Peru, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Uruguay, and Venezuela. I feel like Wacko Warner for a second here, listing up all the countries. And, but, and that's all the different nuances of Spanish. Wow, that's impressive because um, speaking to someone in Europe with Spanish sometimes is a little bit off, but um, I love it when I travel. And so when you travel, how would you use this? So you can either basically, like if you're going to be talking with someone specifically like in a business, store, you could you know, hand them the piece or you can activate listening mode and listen to them talk uh, okay. specifically for the purpose of trying to hear what's going on. That's awesome. But the, 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 the really thing I love about this is that it is a great tool for traveling and activating. If you're worried about, you know, maybe not being cautious or alert of things that are happening around you, you can activate the device by lips listen. Like for instance, if you're going to travel to France, you could take this with you to pick up French. Well, normally when I travel to France, I have my mom with me who speaks perfect French. But if we were on a train or something like that, maybe it would be helpful to know where your stops are. <laughs> um, well, that's the one thing. There is a slight drawback. The thing is designed to pick up actual speech. Uh, okay. So when it comes to like speaker devices, that would be the situation where you would. But now. And some trains that people will walk through and they'll like shell like the next station. If it's someone else walking by and saying it, it will be able to pick up on it. If it is a TV or a phone, it's not designed specifically for that, unfortunately. But still, it is pretty advanced because I've never seen one like this yet. So I'm excited you brought me here to try it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to let you go, but I really appreciate you taking the time. Gracias por su tiempo también. <laughs> Again, thank you so much, Elizabeth, for joining us for that video. Um, and just so you can see here, we actually found in the box here's the power cord. Uh, it's got an open power plug on there, so just plug that right in. It's still using the micro, uh, but it splits the cord in two from one source 
to USB. And that will allow you to charge them up at the same time without having to worry about multiple plugs. It's kind of about them charging kind of at a separate pace. So that's really nice. When you're all said and done, just unplug these bad boys. And then you just slide them into this pouch here. And then, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's enough room in the pouch for the power cord as well. But let me try to see if I can put it in there first. Let's see if we can get to work that way. One in. Get to it. It just barely fits. So if you need me, you can put the power cord in there and take it with you on the go. Um, but yeah, I mean, you've got to love the ability to you know, communicate with more people when out and about in other countries. Or if you need this for business, it's a really good option, um, especially if you do travel and you know have a lot of meetings. The ability to basically kind of switch off the headpieces of other people and pair multiple of them onto one phone is very helpful. But I will I will warn. This device does not have, at this current time, offline capability. So if you are trying to go to a place that's kind of a little more remote or up in the hills and they don't have cellular reception, this will not be very helpful. Uh, but if, if going around businesses, uh, you know, office meetings, this should be no problem. A lot of those places already have it to begin with. Uh, well, thank you again so much for watching. Uh, please. Watch more of our videos, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.